فاين او اي ويل انا اي ويلكم يو تو انذر تايم اذا جولدن اوبورتونيتي ذات وي ار جوينج تو لان ات از جاست ا كونتينيشن اوف بوستون تشارجز يو ريمبر لاست تايم ان اور بريفيوس ليسون وي لوكت ات what we call inland postal charges and we say that one is a way of sending articles within the country let's say it can be from kisumu to kakamega or from malaba to mombasa all those towns are within kenya we call that one inland postal charges today let's look at our second way of sending articles and this one we call it interstate postal charges the same interstate postal charges can also be referred to as or it is also known as international postal charges and this one normally shows rates of sending various articles outside the country that means outside kenya can be from Kenya to Tanzania Kenya to the rest of Africa or we can say to South Africa it can also be from Kenya to other countries America Australia India to mention but a few now normally also you are going to be served with a table a table with some columns a one column will be showing the type of an article the next column will show the weight of the articles then the other columns will show the destinations where the articles are being sent to for example we can see this column here these articles can be sent to east africa of which i know as a learner you know the countries that comprise is africa then we have the rest of africa that means countries outside east africa we also have another destination here that is europe including middle and near east we have australia america and far east now in our first column that is the type of articles we have different articles as shown by this table we have article 1 the letters this is the weight and this one is showing the charges depending with the destination the next article is the aerograms aerograms we have of two types we have an ordinary aerogram then we have the greetings we have also the postcards the printed papers the parcels these are examples of the articles that are here we also have we can also have the newspapers and the rest now looking at this uh, table here it is good as a learner to understand each and every bit before you rush on answering the question for example looking at the weight here especially for the letters the letters the weight is up to two kilograms that means for someone to send the letters the packages is up to two kilograms if you have a letter weighing from one kilogram to 20 from one gram sorry to 20 grams let's say you are sending that letter to east africa this is what you are going to pay how much is this lana 40 
shillings. Supposing you are sending a letter weighing 20 grams to Nigeria. You know, Nigeria is under the rest of Africa. You are probably going to pay 45 shillings. Let me pick another weight. Supposing you are sending a postcard, postcard, the postcard is here. This is our postcard. You are sending the postcard, a single postcard. You are sending maybe a standard size, a standard size of the postcards. The destination, you are sending to Australia, Australia. Where's Australia? Australia is here. Now, you will come back to standard size. Then you are going to follow this row. Follow the row, follow the row, follow the row, up to where it is going to coincide or the column of Australia. Australia is in this column. That means the postcard is a standard size you follow this row up to here and you come to confirm that it is 65 shillings supposing someone was sending uh printed papers printed papers you are sending printed papers to near east what is the weight of the printed papers let's say you are sending 700 grams, 700 grams. Looking at this column here for weight, you can come to confirm that we don't have exactly 700 grams. What will you do? You will ask yourself, 700 grams is found or is within which range, which range? 700 grams will be between over 500 grams up to one kilogram. Where is it being sent to? It is sent to near east. Now, 700 is here. You follow up to near east. Near east is here. So 700 grams is here. You'll follow, 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 follow. This one is for East Africa. This one is for rest of Africa. Then you come here. This one is now near East. What will be the charges for near East? 390 shillings. Then that will be the charges. Now, we have a sample question here that I would like us to work out together. As a learner, can you be very keen? Can you follow? as the way the teacher is going to work out then after this one i'll have to give you your own questions i'll give you questions you work out on your own at your own time now this is the first question we want us to work out together and the question reads kimeu sent a 150 gram letter to tanzania a 1.5 gram, not gram, a 1.5 kilogram letter to, to Nigeria. Two 500 gram printed papers to Europe and a large size postcard to Far East. Now the question, is asking how much how much did she how much did she pay how much did she pay for the postage now let's go back to our question here it is good as a learner you identify all the articles being sent Two, you will need also to be very much keen with the destination where these articles are sent to. This 
one is just simple. We normally say as simple as A, B, C, D. Is it that way? Fine. So this is how we are going to do it. The question is here. A 150 A stands for one. A 150 gram letter to Tanzania. That means a 150 gram letter to Tanzania, Tanzania. You shall check how many letters? One times. What is the cost of sending a 150 gram letter to Tanzania? Shall come back to our table here. Where's Tanzania? Tanzania is under East Africa. Yes, it is under East Africa. What was the weight of the letter? 150 grams. 150 grams is falling or is found under which range? Over 100 grams up to 250 grams. Then you follow that way, you'll find that it will be charged 240 shillings. That's why we have 240 shillings. How many letters? One times 240, definitely we have 240 shillings. Next, a 1.5 kilogram letter to Nigeria. Back to our table. Weight of the letter 1.5 kilograms. Destination Nigeria. Let's come back here. Now, where's Nigeria? Nigeria is under rest of Africa. It's not under East Africa, but it is under rest of Africa. Let's come back here. What's the weight of the article of the letter? 1.5 grams. It is here under within over one kilogram up to two kilograms. It is within here. What is the charges? Follow that column, that, that row. You will come to realize this is the cost. 860 shillings. Come back. Here, we shall take one. Why are we taking one? Because it was just one letter times 860. Then we shall have 860 shillings. Next one, two 700 gram printed papers. Printed papers. So. What are the articles being sent this time round? Printed papers. Where is the destination? Europe. At a large. No, it is Europe. Fine. So we shall come to 700 gram printed papers. What is the weight? 700 grams. How many? Two. So we shall check. Two times the charges of one printed paper. Come back to our table. Just printed papers. Printed papers. They are here. They are here. What was the weight? 700 grams. 700 grams is falling between over 500 grams up to one kilograms. Destination, it was Europe. Come back to Europe. Europe is here. Europe is here. You follow that column, printed the papers to Europe. Come, 700 grams, it is here. Follow, follow, you follow, you follow, you follow up to here. Now, what are the charges? 
420. 420. How many are there? Two. So we shall check. We shall come here. Europe. This one is, sorry, 720 and 80. From our table here, Europe. We are here, Europe, printed papers. It is supposed to be 420. So, shall come back here and say 420 printed papers. It should be 420. That means we shall lead it to one, this one and it will be 420. Now, after multiplying, we shall have two times 420. Lana, what will be the answer? Two times 420. What will be the answer? The answer will be two times zero, zero. Two times two, we shall get four. Two times four, we shall get eight. That means we shall have eight, four. And that one will be our answer. It will be 840 for the two printed papers. The next one is a large size postcard two far east. What is our article, our item? A large size postcard. Where is the destination? The destination is the far east. So we shall come here back to our table. We shall have post card. Put it type large size. Destination. Destination, it is far east. Far east. Come back here. Post card, large size. Far East. How much is that one? 70 shillings. 70 shillings. And we have here 70 shillings. Now the question is asking, how much did she? Kimeu. I think Kimeu is a he. How much did he pay for the postage? That means we shall come and add all of them. Zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. We shall have zero. Four plus six, 10. Plus four, 14. Plus seven, it is supposed to be 21, 21. We write one. We carry two. Two plus two, four. Plus eight, we shall have 12. Plus eight again, we shall have 20. So it is supposed to be 20. 20. And this one becomes the total cost of for sending the articles, the items to those different destinations. So this question is as simple as you have seen. So it is good for you to master. One, you identify the article. Is it one or two? Next one, you are supposed to be very keen with the destination. After that, that, this one becomes our answer. Now, we have these two questions here, question two and question number three. You read the questions, we can read together. Omondi sent these articles. 
two letters each way, one kilogram to Uganda, to Uganda. Two parcels, one way, 600 grams, and another 1.5 kilograms to South Africa. Remember, South Africa. South Africa is under rest of Africa. And an aerogram that is a large size to near is how much did he pay all together? That means, Lana, you will do exactly the way you have done question one. Fine. Let's go to question three. Mwendwa posted the following. A parcel way. A parcel, that means one way two kilograms to Australia. Next, two letters each weighing 650 grams. One, one to Hassan in Tanzania and another to Europe. Remember, the two letters, each is weighing 650 grams, but the destinations are different. Please, you need to remember this one. Can you be very keen? One is sent to Tanzania, and the next one is sent to Europe. That means the charges are going to vary. They are going to be different. He then sent a standard size postcard to her friend in India. For those ones who do not understand where India is found, India is under or is found near east. So you look for the column near east, of course, near east is here. This is the column you are going to use. Fine. How much did she spend for the postage? You will do exactly the way we did this sample question here. And you arrange the work the way the teacher has arranged here. Please do exactly the way this work has been done here. After that, you will give your clear answers. Immediately you finish, ensure you look for a way for your teacher to mark your work. I hope you have followed this lesson carefully. I hope you have been very keen with the way postal charges is worked out because from here, you're going to be coming across questions, especially we say you are preparing questions for you. The way you are going to work out the questions will determine if we shall call you a candidate or you'll have under time in class seven. So put more effort, take this work seriously, it will determine your promotion. I hope you, I wish you nice time, wherever you are, and I believe you are going to do exactly the way the teacher has said. Let me finish by reminding you of our common, our familiar sentence, what the teacher normally, normally says, that practice does what? Practice makes perfect. Now, who's supposed to be perfect? I know you are answering, it is you who's supposed to be perfect. Let's meet in our next session and 
May God bless you abundantly. See you next time.